Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I am going to discuss about the deserialization of JSON response. So, whenever you work with the deserialization, the important part is to create the model. That is to create the class which will act as a placeholder when you deserialize the response. So, as we know that this is the format of our response. So, I am going to use one website that is json2csharp.com. And using this website, you can generate the model based on the JSON schema. So this is our JSON schema. I'm going to just copy it and paste it over here. Remove this unnecessary string. And just click on generate. So it is going to create the model or the classes based on the schema which we provide. So in our case, these are the classes which will act as a placeholder when we deserialize the JSON response. So in our project under the model, I'm going to create one more directory called JSON model. And inside this directory, I'm going to add these two classes. So the first one is the feature. So let me make it public and inside this there is a property. Similarly, the another class that is the root object. Okay, so let me rename it to JSON root object. The class is public and these are the property which will be in this class. Okay, so now our model is ready. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.